Hello, my name is Kathy Miller, and I am the parish priest here at Christ Church Anglican in Meaford. This Sunday, we celebrate Mother's Day. It's a day when we honor the sacrificial nature of a mother's love, a day of holiness when families often get together. This year, many families will not be able to do that, and that is a loss. But perhaps it will open to us the recognition of what that loss uh, might be. Any new awareness of what we might take for granted might emerge. I have to share with you an excerpt of a Mother's Day proclamation from 1870 by Julia Ward Howe. Arise then, women of this day, arise all women who have hearts. Whether your baptism be of water or of tears, say firmly, we will not have questions answered by irrelevant agencies. Our husbands will not come to us reeking with carnage for caress and applause. Our sons shall not be taken from us to unlearn all that we have been able to teach them of charity, mercy, and patience. We, the, woman, the women of one country, will be too tender of heart to those of another country to allow our sons to be trained to injure theirs. In our society, women have made great gains in their participation in the public sphere. Life, in many ways, is very different now than it was in 1870. However, as this proclamation shows, women bring a unique perspective to the public sphere. And business as usual is a huge temptation. But if women do not bring their unique perspective, then the changes in the roles of women are just about individual human rights, which is not enough. We need more than that. We need a wholesale change to work cooperatively for the well-being of the whole global community. We need a balance to ensure that resources are shared justly so that everyone has enough to live well in the land that God has given to us. Let us ensure that all of our children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren can grow up to drink cl clean water, to breathe clean air, and to grow good food. Let's make Mother's Day a day to think carefully about what we are leaving our children. Let it be a day when women's unique perspective is fully recognized and valued. Let us pray. Gracious, loving God, we give you thanks that you have given each of us gifts and talents with which to serve our communities. This day, especially, we give you thanks for the gifts that you have given to women. We pray that women all over the world will have the opportunity to develop those gifts, to live in security and safety, that all of their children may grow up to be strong and fulfilled people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm.